Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with my garage. And today, we're going to stick a diesel engine in the uh, transporter wagon here. So, I was going to do it over here, but I'm going to move it. Oh yeah, I haven't got a headliner. Ford 6 did leave a comment saying I didn't have the headliner in here. Whoops, forgot about that. Oh, I didn't realise they were in here either. Come on. There we go. Before we do anything, I'm just going to crank the volume down on my earphones. There we go. Ah. Now, one thing I forgot about is the fact that this is an automatic. And I got a manual gearbox, didn't I? So I've got a choice. I could either get a set of manual pedals or... We get an automatic gearbox. Uh, I'm going to go for an automatic gearbox, I think. I should do it. I'm going to keep hold of the other gearbox for some. Hang on a minute. It doesn't look like that one. It looks like one for the V8 and the I6. Hang on a minute. Ugh. I put I6 and I6D. That's better. Let's put a fire speed automatic on it. Okay. I've got plenty of gearboxes laying about. I will keep hold of that one though. Stand that there. Right. Grab some tools and start pulling the engine out of this. I think I might paint the hood black. It just doesn't seem to work with the the doors as well as I was hoping. Right, we're on loosening, aren't we? A little bit of light on the subject so we can see what we're doing. Alternate a fuel line while I'm here. I see it. Yep. <clears throat> uh, oh, gearbox mounts. Hoping I can crawl under this and get the gearbox out without having to, you know, hoist this up. I'm trouble seeing where the bolt is for that. There it is. Uh, oh, I will need to disconnect that wire as well, won't I? Because that's for the uh, start motor. There we go. Complete with exhaust system. Right, now can I... Snake my way under here. All I need to do is... I need to get to that. Oh, oh. Start the game five minutes and I'm already stuck inside the truck. There we go. So, that's not going to let me, is it? What about if I crouch right down in here and zoom in? Can I get to it from this side? No. Nope. What I'm trying to get to is the drive shaft bolts. Might need a little bit of extra. 
Sorry about that squeak. My microphone was getting in the way. Right. I don't think it's going to matter which side I go from. Is it going to go up inside that? No, it is going to lift it. Hopefully. I have just enough room to get under here. It will not let me go back that way. I knew that was going to just... Oh! Stopped. Okay. I don't need that, don't I? That's better. I hoping I just didn't have to, you know, mess around doing that, but never mind. So I get the transmission on. Pop in the new transmission on. In the right place, would help. Remove the stand. I don't need that in here anymore. Just made that slide off the jack. I think. Did it? No, it didn't. I saw the truck drop, uh, drop and thought that had uh, slid off the jack. Right. One thing I forgot to do in the last video was actually bolt the bloody oil fuel filter. Where did I drop it? Nope. Nope. No. 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 I know for a fact I dropped it over here. Oh, nuts. Transmission hasn't got the start motor on, has it? Whoops. Well, I guess I'm doing that the hard way now. I'm sure, I picked up that fuel filter. I did because it's not over here. It rolled off somewhere. I guess it's rolled off somewhere. I think I'll get another one. You wait, I'll buy another one, then I'll find the original one that I bought. This is power steering pump. Is there. I put it on, but I forgot to uh, do the bolt up. So, apply. Logged into the game a few minutes ago and noticed it was just rolling about. There we go. I'm going to fit the start. I'm not going to change the start. No. I bought a new one, didn't I? Sure, I bought a new one. I didn't buy a new one. Either that or my eyeballs just aren't working this morning. There it is. Nice posh new one of these. We'll sort the coolant out and the head out on that as well. In a little while. But first... Oh, you know what? I might be able to get under here to do this. Uh, I'm do this. It goes on here, doesn't it, on this one? And it's already got one on it. And that's why I can't find the star motor, because it's there. I sort of 
Especially how long it has been since I've uh, messed about with a diesel. Okay, that's on. That's on. Ground is on. Those three on. Should have one more gearbox mount. That's it. No, it's not it. We need the fuel line. Forgot where it bolt. Ah, is it there? No. Where did it bolt to? It's under there. And it goes up to the fuel filter. Of course. Seems to be a little bit off. Not to worry. Let's get these out of here. I don't need these, do I? I'm gonna throw them on the junk truck. <clears throat> Tank. Is it these two? Is it two the other side? Nope, because it's just fallen straight into my face. Okay, so it's just them two, just like proper um, fuel tank straps. Fuel tank gone. Oh. Is this one, isn't it? Is it? I can't remember which one it is. This one we can take one down. We take the cap off. it up. That's the petrol one. There we go. I would have been correct. I just want to double check that before I uh, bolted this in. Okay, so we're nearly done. Well, as far as converting it over to diesel, we're done. What I need to do now is, obviously, because I've had to coolant lines disconnected I'm gonna to have to top that up again aren't I? Where's the cap? I'll take that cap off. Yeah, seems to it's empty. If I remember correctly it's a bit of a a game to try and get this to line up. Oh, I had it there, didn't I? Oh. Can't do it like that. I'm going to have to go and get some more uh, coolant, I think. My torch still on. Yeah, it is. It's not lighting much up, though, is it? Either there's more in the bottle than I thought, or I didn't spill as much as I was thinking. But either way, I'm going to need coolant for that as well, so let's just run across here and grab some bottles. I always like to have a little stockpile of this, because it is something you use regularly. Down there. Let's 
It's not correct. We'll just zoom in. Zoom me in. That's better. We might. Another bottle, although quite a lot came out of the first one, despite how much I spilled. I'm not touching my mouse at the minute because of its sensitivity. If I leave my hand on it, I'm going to nudge the mouse and then I'll just chuck coolant everywhere. And I'd rather chuck it in the engine, or at least the radiator, not the engine. You don't want, you know, you don't want coolant in the engine. Well, not in the uh, undesignated area of it. All right, in the cooling jackets. You don't want it in with your oil. I don't know if this is actually full or not. It's still filling. There we go. I'm going to chuck this empty one. This one over here. Put that one on there, then I know it's the one I've started on. The cap. Cap to cap. Okay, oil. It's not oil. I wonder if the game would actually let you uh, pour coolant into the engine where you put the oil, or if it just won't let you do it. I've never tried it. I might try it on the V8 that we took out of this, just for fun. As the, uh, the other V8 is in need of some work anyway. Because it's um, slow starting for some reason. I can't see anything obvious as to why. Missed. I hit the button too far over and got the backpack up. Should I actually go for a full two of these in this? I can't remember. Just stop it there and try and find a dippy stick. Which again, I actually can't remember where it is on this motor. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is going to be a thirsty beast like the V8 is, so let's go for a full one of these. And we'll see what level that has given us. So two of those give you about two thirds. I've got just enough oil, how about that? That's a good guess. Okay. Don't want to fill this for too long because I don't want the full bottle in. Right, let's see how close we are there. Mm -hmm. Good enough, I think, but. I've got this obsession with being as close as possible. So we'll stick a bit more in. How far off are we now? Are we closer? Just underneath that line. That is good enough. I've got diesel in the tank because I filled it up last video. Well, should have diesel in the tank. Oops. Better put the cap back on the engine. Okay. Not okay. Guess what I forgot? Have you guessed? You guessed exhaust? You're absolutely correct. Oh, I bought one. Um, 
don't know what's going to line up with this one. Let's go with the B200 and just see what comes up under that. Exhaust, exhaust I4. Let's try this one. See if this one will uh, match up with it. Can't find the downpipes. Is the header? No, nope. it doesn't seem to be that one that's going to fit it. Um, Is that, am I missing a bit? It's so long since I've done a a diesel vehicle, I can't remember. Ah. I am, aren't I? I'm missing. I know what I'm missing. This. I got that bit on, but I didn't get this bit. This bit goes on first. Completely crashing into the car, like that. Then would I throw the wrench? Ah, wrench. Okay, get under here some... Where? Just be the one on those sure it's not there's the other one there now I'm hoping yes here we go Looks like the bolts aren't in. Oh, I see why, because of clipping through the texture. Oh, really? Just because I was about to... <sighs> right. Let's go for its first uh, start-up, shall we? As a diesel. Diesel, not stay in the tank. Hmm. Let's, let's just go over to the gas station and just see if the diesel tank is full. I know I filled it up, but Really? What are you stuck on? Honestly, cannot. Whoa! How about now? Nope. Mm. 
turn it around. Now we'll try it. That's better. Okay. Swing its bum round, because that's where the tank is. A little bit more. I don't think I really needed to put the super push on. Okay. Let's just check we have Dizoleum in there. No, apparently it didn't save, so that was that idea out of the window then. Quite a big tangle in this. Assuming we are full. Okay. I like we actually have a diesel glow plug light that comes on. You see it? Watch this one there. there go. Goes off. Yay! Feels a little bit gutless as a diesel. I might have to put a turbo on it. Just to give it a bit more oomph. I'm happy with that. A good piston? Yeah. Got any bad pistons here? What is this? I don't understand why this was turning over so slowly. Pistons look okay, crankshaft looks okay. Calibre is okay. Ignition coil, I've got bad spark plugs in it. The only other thing I can think of, everything else is looking spot on on this engine. Spark plugs outside are okay. They look okay. I don't know. Anywho. Yeah, I accidentally blew a head on this one. I don't know... What happened to all the coolant? The radiator doesn't seem to have a leak. You know, and I bought it from the dealership and assumed levels were okay. So perhaps just a lesson to be learned. Even when you buy a car from the dealership, 
don't assume that the fluids are all uh, okay because they might not be. Pull up. We've got side exits on this one. Pull the plug wires. She'll probably start and run with this bad head, but yeah, might as well replace it. Do I need to? I don't think I need to undo that one, do I? Yes, I do, because the alternator's got to come off. That is bolted to the uh, head. See, it goes right through to the head. Pop that off as well. <clears throat> the question is, do I replace these rockers? Or do I leave those because they do look okay? It looks like it's just their head that got ruined. So I need a... Is that a lift? I'll have a look at the sparkulators as well when I've got this off. Most likely going to need a new head gasket. Get in that wire. Oh, forgot the insides. We've got these three, haven't we? Oh, 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 oh dear. That's not very good, is it? <laughs> Right, I'm going to need at least three pistons. Can I actually get, un if I can get under this, then I'm going to try and do this without taking the engine out of the truck. So... I get around all the cross members and things. I think so. I think I can crawl around under here easy enough. Although that um, four wheel drive diff is getting in the way this side. And I've got stuck in here, so um, you know the easiest option is just going to take this bloody thing out, isn't it? Not really what I wanted to do, but it's going to help with the uh, not getting stuck all the time. Have to go from the top to get them. Yeah. Now the other side. Mustn't forget the fuel line. Get the fuel line, and we should be good to go. Alright, let's take this into the shop. <clears throat> Get it up on the stand. Right close enough to the light switch. Oops. Okay. We've only got a few bolts. I'm... So I'm done. I've missed that one. Is that the only one? So I'm pretty certain it is just 
those three pistons, that blue. This may not have ran. Or at least not very well. So we'll drop these three bad pistons out. I will go and get... I need a head. I might just use spark plugs that I've got in the shop. Okay, so we need V8. We need... View one of those on, and three of those, and I think, at least for now, that is it. Oh, yeah, I did. Just make sure I pick the head gasket up. Oh, hang on. Put the cool out of the way. Dookie. Have parts. I'll just give that radiator and whatnot a once over as well before I bolt this back in. That's that done. I want to just check the. Um, gasket the other side which is now this side further around I should just be able to head back my way in yep that's all fine that's good Udo. Gasket in place, get the head on. Ah. I forgot to go and oh, put the rockets in over there because I've got to put the uh, cover back on anyway. We are done. Repair's done. In fact, it's probably a lot faster to do it this way. We need four spark plugs, don't we? These are all good ones, so I might as well use them. All of those. Only because I'm too lazy and faff about taking them out in the old head. There it is. What I was looking for. Starting to get a wee bit dark now. One, two. Why do you do this? Get in there. I no, will just steal the rockers out of the other head as well. Spark plug's probably okay in that head. I'm just being a bit lazy. I'm trying to be. We have fixed this, can't we, on the correct side of the engine. Uh, and that. Probably 
animals back on. Come here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, no, I'm just kidding, I'm not going to count through them all again. Put the cover on, just drop this back in. Fill it up with some oil and coolant. And, as we say, JD, which means job done. Okay. Engine mount, we'll just let that glitch around like they do. When the fuel line's gone, it's just a bit. I'll worry about that in a minute. And I've got other spares and whatnot docked about. Okay, um. Yeah, see, all four of them sparkulators are good. The head, however, is toast. I've got plenty of coolant. I don't have any oil in here. Ooh, I do. Got two and possibly a third up there and a couple over there. A couple of three over here and a bottle of coolant. Right, I just want to get that fuel line on before I forget. Do you had a spare one somewhere? I'll get this on, then I'm gonna just sleep because I can't see what I'm doing. Now, why did you do that? Or oh, is that? Oh, that's the original one. Sleep. I'm going to chuck this on the scrap chuck. Chuck? The scrap chuck. The scrap truck, rather. Uh, what do I need? Oh, yeah. Uh, we need. I have to keep an eye on that. Right place, first time. It's not often that happens. I'm going to try and keep the videos a bit shorter as well. I think they're getting a bit too long. Because I'm getting carried away. I do love this game. I guess you'd consider this like a simulator, kind of. And I really do like my simulator games. There we go. to keep an eye on this because if it runs out again there's obviously a leak somewhere but I think both radiator pipes are okay got a bottomless radiator got a bottomless bottle as well from the same um, looks of it hang on a minute are we filling up we are close enough to the top. Yeah, both radiator pipes are okay. 
put the cap back on. Get the oil cap off. No, that's to plug wires. Grab some oil. Grab an empty oil. Try again. We'll try this bottle of Earl. Nope. <laughs> Are any of these full? Right, third time lucky. Do we have oil in this one? Serious? That's three. That's three of six. Try again. There we go. We have oil in that one. Not a lot of oil, but we had oil in that one. I bet that barely touched the uh, dipstick. Okay, it's just over the mark. Well, I'll take that. Almost forgot the cap. Make sure she's running. Yep. And uh, as always, I forget to do one thing, at least one thing every time. Let's put the bloody exhaust back on. Snake my way across the car like this. There we go. Well done. Sweet. All up and running again. Right, these are all full bottles, so... One. I'm going to check these oils, actually. Yep, some in that one. Yep, some in that one. Good. Well, let's park this somewhere a bit better, shall we? Instead of right in the middle of the forecourt in the way. To make some of these a manual because I think I've got like three automatics now. Question is, uh, where am I going to park it? Go up here behind, beside this uh, bar, the Chad. I always forget which one's which. I missed a bit of paint on the door. I thought that had a flat tire the other day when we were on the game. Okay. Just so I'm not running around like a headless chicken trying to find tools again. Are you full or empty? I've got some in. Let's see, we're going to need the uh, wrench for a minute. Uh, we don't need that at the minute. Not unless I try and empty the gas out of it and put it in um, one of these other trucks. 
That is a good setup, so I would like to keep that. Oh, that's what I was keeping this headliner for, but I just can't find the rear view mirror to put the dang thing in. I knew I was keeping that headliner for a reason. For a minute. All right. Oh, this back up again. Put her in reverse. Uh, how many more times am I going to do that? In reverse. That's it. Okay. A little bit off with the alignment, aren't I? But that should be. Close enough. I'll probably, probably manoeuvre this around a little bit better than the truck. Well, having said that, I might turn this around because I can't see anything out of that back window. gentle on the throttle otherwise you just go sideways Neutral, not put the e brake on. That's what I wanted to do. She's on there. Apparently my truck ramps have broken because they won't retract. Probably is not going to end well as the ramps are still down. I see it's still dragging. I don't know why. Let me 
certainly not doing anything wrong, but I just can't get them to... Well, it's on there at least. Can't do much else with it, but it is on there. Squatting a little bit at the back here, aren't we? I might just have to save and reload the game and hope that works. I hope no cars come along because my nose is stuck out here. Oh, I want to change the colour of that hood, didn't I? Right, I'm going to end the video here, guys. So, thanks a lot for watching. As always, hit the like button if you like the video, or the dislike button if you dislike the video. Consider subscribing, free to do so, doesn't cost a penny. And if you check the video description down below, I will put links in there to my other two YouTube channels, my Discord server, my Twitch channel, and I'll even leave an email address down there just in case anybody wants to contact me. So again, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.